night guys this is grandma cheap cheap and welcome to my vintage kitchen here in southern Colorado I will be making some Mother's Day um, recipes for your consideration and let's start out with this curried chicken salad uh, I do remember the taste of uh, this chicken salad long ago and I'm bringing it back so what we have is three chicken uh, thighs and drumsticks that I've roasted and, and cut up, a cup of mayonnaise and a heaping teaspoon of Dijon mustard, one rib of celery, dice, not finely but medium, um, about a third of a gr uh, about a third of a red onion, um, a big handful of golden raisins, or you certainly can use re regular raisins, or dried carrots, dried cranberries, whatever you have. Curry powder. And this is my Major Gray's chutney that I canned maybe two years ago. Uh, it, it wasn't... Um, a success it, it turned out a little too loose but the flavor is just fine and we're going to use it uh, first of all uh, and of course uh, white wine now this is the wine that I drink when I have a cocktail and it is a box wine it's a Moscato and I like it so I put about a third of a cup there. I'm going to add some chutney. Now you can buy Major Grace chutney in the um, in the store. I thought it was it was too expensive for me so I decided to make my own. I'll have this for years to come. I'm going to just mix this up it will be sweet it will be tasty okay so that's my liquid I'm gonna simply add my uh, golden raisins my onion my celery you know, I was thinking about even um, fresh raisins would be good on with this. Okay, I'm going to I mix that up. Now, I'm, okay, I have someone at the door. Let me just go get that. Okay, I'm back. That was my tree service. I'm having a a tree removed in the yard there so I'm um, mixing my my chicken onion celery and golden raisins now with my liquid dressing that I have here I'm just gonna pour out maybe half of this I might have too much soaking it up though you know what I didn't put in here was my curry I'm gonna start off with two teaspoons that's just half That was a full one. And let me get another half. Okay. Oh, this smells so good. I might put a little more in here of my dressing.
You can salt and pepper this to taste if you want. Um, I'm not going to put any salt or pepper in it because I think it's just right you know I mm, maybe I'll just keep this dressing what I have left and put it in a little container sometime when you have a meat salad like this when you uh, keep it from one day to the next if you have leftovers then the chicken absorbs the or the meat absorbs that dressing so I might need a little bit of it uh, because we're not going to eat all of this today uh, let me just get a fork and do a taste test I don't personally need um, salt and pepper. You may. It's totally up to you, but this is so good. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Email me at grandmycheepcheep at gmail.com. Uh, follow me at, on Twitter at Grandma Cheapo. Don't forget our um, giveaway that's still going on. Let me just get that. The Stoneware Butter Keeper. You have until Mother's Day, probably evening. I will um, uh, select the winner. Uh, good luck to you. If you don't want to leave a comment, on YouTube and you want to be considered for the uh, Stoneware Butter Keeper, go to my email and, and just shoot me an email. I'm checking it every day because some of the uh, subscribers um, want to submit their name or put their name in the hat. Uh, that way, um, I guess email and comment is the only way I'll know that you have an interest in that butter keeper but uh, please try this curry chicken salad it's awfully awfully good I'll be right back uh, with another Mother's Day recipe soon enjoy your day and be blessed bye bye now